In this video, I'm going to show you how to blitz out of 335 wide against Gun Bunch. I'm going to actually really specifically show you how to do this out of match coverage in a way that's not going to compromise some of your key uh, elements of your coverage defense. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. The other thing that I want to let you know about is if you want to get access to my full nickel 335 wide defensive guide, I would really encourage you to consider that because it really is um, kind of the culmination of everything that I've done this year defensively coming back into 335 wide. The primary reason why is because there's a lot more that you can do with wide than most people realize. There's a lot more from a coverage perspective that you can do with this. And it does require some really in-depth breakdowns that we will be sharing in our Patreon. Um, it, we've also got a ton of stuff in there just from a basic perspective of how to run this concept or this this defense. It's, also, it, it's one of those things where it can be as complicated as you want it to be and it can be as simple as you want it to be, which is what makes 335 wide so good. The ability to adapt, to adjust, to move very fluidly within a defense I think is one of the things. I've heard before um, this this uh, quote, I'm pretty sure it's from Gary Patterson over at TCU, but he talks about how it really doesn't matter what defense you run as long as you know how to fix it. And what he's talking about is can you fix the problems in your coverage? Can you fix the problems in your defense? 335 wide gives you the most tools in your belt, next to maybe nickel normal. They're both very good. I got ebooks on both of those that allow you to fix some of your, um, your uh, vulnerabilities. So I love 335 wide for that primary reason. Um, today we're gonna be showing you some pressure out of it, but if you get the Patreon, the cool part is I've got 18 offensive and defensive guides in there. So it's not just 335 wide, it's nickel normal, it's um, nickel 245, it's nickel triple, which is one of my real, I love that defense. It's very good defense this year. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in there. We've got offensive stuff as well. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, $10 a month gets you everything. You get all 18 offensive and defensive ebooks. You get all updates to those ebooks while your membership is active. And you get any new additional ebooks that we will release while your subscription is active. We typically update that Patreon membership at least two times a week, if not four or five, with new material, whether it be a pro player breakdown, a new ebook, or an update to an ebook. So we've got a pretty major update I'm working on right now for 335 wide, uh, which we'll be sharing hopefully by the end of this week. So again, if you want to join the Patreon membership, there's no better time than today. There's a link in the description if you want to sign up for that. So let's take a look at how we can send some pressure out of 335 wide, cover four, show two. Uh, and again, remember, I like to audible into that. Okay, we wanna audible into cover four, show two. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna audible down to cover four, show two, and then we're going to press, of course, and then most importantly, we're gonna shade our coverage over the top. What that's gonna do is gonna put this guy in a curl flat, very, very important for your coverage, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're going to globally blitz our linebackers, we're gonna uh, crash our line out, and we're gonna stand right here and QB contain. So we've got a great five-man rush plan. This is, again, assuming they're gonna send everybody out on a route. Now, the last little piece of this is, you have to understand, we're assuming they're gonna send everybody out on a route, and so what I like to do with the running back and, and, the, and the number one to the bunch side, this coverage on the right's gonna do pretty decent on the right side. You could put that safety on the right side in a deep half if you wanted to. Um, or you could just leave it where it's at. If you're really, really worried about getting bombed, go ahead and put that safety on the right side in a deep half. Then what you want to do with this is you want to man up your number one corner. So the corner that's over the top of the number one receiver, you want to man him up on the running back, and then you want to man your safety up on the number one receiver. So you see we get a little switching action. I have to tell you this is very confusing. It does help guard wheel routes. It does help guard post routes a little better. And what you'll notice is by the time the pressure comes in, it's gonna be hard to make a quick read and you're still kind of funneling everything back into the middle of the field, which is where your user is going to be. Let me show you one of the best concepts in uh, Madden 22, which is basically this. This is why I'd like to, um, this is why I like to leave the inside quarter where it's at and I don't like to change it. I actually would rather bring these guys in just a little bit if I have ta time to. But what you'll see with this is now with the inside quarter there, um, 
with the inside quarter there, you're going to be in a position where he's going to play that seam streak a lot better. So you don't have to worry too much about that. And now you see that curl flat doesn't do terrible. That outside quarter does a great job of playing that tight end wheel. Okay? So it's pretty decent coverage on this. Let me show you replay. So you see here, I mean, it's not terrible coverage. I mean, there's a small window that you could hit that, but what I really want to focus in on, this is a route that kills me when I try to blitz bunch. That's not incredibly a great read, okay? That quarter will hang fairly tightly with that. And then what you want to look at over here is look at this. You're out, no, and then this guy's here. So, yeah, the running back is kind of there, but I will say that's your best man. I mean, that's your cover guy. There's a good chance he can maybe potentially get an animation on that. Okay? Now, and I'm not trying to lock down that spot by any means. I'm just trying to show you a simple concept of blitz from. Um, lastly, one other thing that's really advantageous about this is let's say they're trying to run um, a Z spot corner route. And let's say they're, they want to get a little extra time. And they know you've been blitzing, so they'll block their running back. What's really cool about this is um, it will still come in against a blocked running back, and that's one of the advantages. They have to block a tight end to get this blitz picked up. So, again, you're doing your stuff exactly the same. And what you'll notice now, whenever they block their running back, watch the man coverage on that guy. You'll notice, what does he do? He doubles the number one receiver, which is really advantageous. And then you also have great coverage on the corner route because you're in cover four. Uh, you're in cover four show two specifically, which is a match matching defense. So this is a cool little way that forces them to, um, like when they block the running back, you get a double team on the number one, which I think is really advantageous. And then let's say, for example, they go to something like this. Now, this is probably one of their best shots uh, to hit hit you um, or to just put you know a good route combination on the field. But they're going to block their tight end. That will pick up the pressure, but you get great contains. And then you're going to, again, be kind of in the middle of the field. Okay? So pretty good little play. Um, it does. It, it's something I like to go to because, again, you're going to force them to get the ball out quick. Now, if you aren't so worried about the man concept, um, let's say that you're not – let's say that you – I don't know. I mean, again, they them blocking their running backs really not that advantageous to them. But what you could do with this, what you could also do with this, is you could cloud flat that player over there on the left side, and then you could man the safety up on that number one. Now, why would you do that? Well, because if they do block the running back, or even if they send the running back out, you still have somebody in the area, right? So you have a good coverage over in that area. Initially, you're going to be able to stop some of those little underneath stuff if you wanted to try that as well. So anyways, guys, that's a nice little blitzing concept from match, how you can still have good match coverage, but also be able to still send solid pressure. So if you want to check out more uh, of this defense, join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below where you can sign up. And for just $10 a month, it gets you access to everything. You get all 18 offensive and defensive guides, including the one I shared with you today, or at least the more in-depth version of it, of course. And then also you're going to get access to the um, all of the updates and all of that. And like I said, we update it m multiple times every week, uh, as well as we release new ebooks all the time. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, I guarantee you're going to have the most up-to-date content in terms of how you can actually get a stop and how you can score more points and how you can be better at this game. So if you want to join that, there's a link in the description below. And you can sign up for just $10 a month. Unlocks everything. Cool part is, too, you don't have to stay forever. You can you can unlock it for a month and then say, I don't want it anymore. That's fine. Uh, you can always cancel whenever you'd like to. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description that you can click on.